Hi friends. This is a common sight nowadays. How do you think the application predicts the next possible words? The application has about half a million words in English dictionary stored as part of its database. Then it scores the words which we use very often. Higher the score, more are the chances of the use of the word and so the word is suggested. In fact, it also scores phrases so that it can suggest the words which are used together. For example, if you wish your friends on their birthdays by texting wishing you a very happy birthday and a wonderful year ahead. Every time you write happy, the next words suggested would be to birthday new where the word with the highest score is placed in the center. The application does the suggestion by calculating the chances or the probability of using a word depending on the score of the word. The chance of happening of an event when expressed in terms of numbers is probability. Let's look at some simpler examples to understand what is the science behind the prediction some of the terms used and how do we calculate the chances of the happening of an event Suppose we were to start a game of Ludo with a friend and to decide who goes first we toss a coin the person getting ahead would start the game once tossed there can be two results either we get ahead a tail these results are called outcome in mathematics tossing a coin is called an experiment or a trial it is an action which can have more than one result an outcome is a probable result when the experiment or trial is performed right if we collect all the outcomes of an experiment together it will look like a set we have already learned about sets in our previous grade in the case of tossing of a coin it would look like this in probability all the possible outcomes of an experiment is called the sample space so can you tell me what would be the sample space when a dice is rolled The action here is rolling of a dice. So it is called a trial. When the dice is rolled, we could get 1 2 3 and so on till 6. These are the possible results or the outcomes. So the sample space here would be the set S. When a dice is rolled, a desired result could be something like getting a 6. that is just the outcome 6 in the sample space or getting an even number which will have the even numbers from the sample space that is 2 4 and 6 the set or collection which has the desired outcomes is called an event to calculate our probability correctly it is very essential that we write our sample space correct So far we have seen two parts. First one is the prediction of the texts while messaging and tossing of a coin or rolling a die. Tell me friends, are you able to connect to them? Let's discuss. At least by now, if one would ask you what is the chance of getting ahead when a coin is tossed, you would simply say 50%, right? But If I tell you when I tossed this coin 100 times I got head as an outcome 85 times will you still say that there is a 50% chance of getting a head mm no right so friends basically there are two types of probability experimental and theoretical and for the same even the answer can be different so let's see an example and then we'll solve a question Suppose team A and team B were to play a game of cricket. At the beginning of the match, if we were to predict the winners of the match when we know nothing about their earlier performances, we would say they both have 50/50 chance of winning. This is called theoretical probability. 
Suppose in the past they've played 10 matches of which team A has won 8 of them. Then on being asked to predict the winners, we would say team A. This prediction or calculation of probability based on some data is called empirical probability. Now I hope there is no confusion about empirical and theoretical probability. In this session, we shall learn only how to calculate empirical probability. Empirical or experimental probability is the ratio of the number of times an event occurs to the total number of times the experiment is performed. We call it empirical as the probability we calculate is going to be based on the results of an experiment that was performed. In our game of Ludo, we rolled the dice. Here, the list of possible outcomes was So, the sample space was Suppose by the end of the game, the dice was rolled 500 times and the observations were recorded as What is the probability that when the dice was rolled, 4 was on top? The result was an odd number. Here, the trial is rolling of a dice. The number of trials is 500. The desired event is getting a 4. So, using the formula for empirical probability, probability of getting a 4 is 94 upon 500 or for the second part, the desired event is getting an odd number. Of all the outcomes in the sample space, the odd numbers are 1, 3 and 5. So, the probability of getting an odd number is 96 plus 70 plus 75 upon 500 or 241 upon 500 or what is the probability of getting a zero here? Now, zero is not a part of the sample space. So, now applying the formula, we get probability of getting a zero is You remember tossing a coin at the start of the game? What if the coin is tossed 100 times and the results are head 47 times, tail 53 times? What is the probability of getting a head and that of getting a tail? Here. So, probability of getting a head is 47 upon 100 or also probability of getting a tail is 53 upon 100 or Notice here that probability of getting a head plus probability of getting a tail when added together gives us 1. Also, probability of any event is always greater than 0 or equal to 0 and less than 1 or equal to 1. Now, a few facts about probability we can state are The probability of an event lies between 0 and 1. The sum of probabilities of all possible outcomes is 1. The probability of an event that is not in the sample space is 0. With the learnings from this session, try solving this question. If you have any doubts while solving the question, please feel free to comment on the video or call us or WhatsApp us. If you've liked this session, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon and never miss another update from Let's Tute. Keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.